far so good. So far so good. So hello everyone, we're back. We got a new update. It's 2020 4835.1 and I'm with Mark today. We don't have the interior camera, but we have audio, so you hello. can hear us. Hello, yes. putting Mark here. Yes, hello. So this is the very first drive I've actually taken. So this is the first time we're all going together with this new update. So the only thing I've noticed so far is some changes to the UI on the HVAC screen. So when you're stopped, it'll show your departure time up at the top here. Oh. Which is really cool. Actually, I can probably show that. See? Oh, yeah. Now there's a schedule button right inside the HVAC screen, which is really awesome. Uh, which is really cool. So maybe we can't engage it. There it goes. So it's funny, it doesn't show expanded expanded visualization toggle. It's just always expanded now. Interesting. Yeah, so I even posted a tweet about it showing the toggles removed, but it clearly is still expanded. I mean, look how far out it is. So maybe now it's just, it's tied default. to FSD beta. Yeah, maybe it's just default. Because we don't have that on production build. Mm -hmm. We can only go to like right here. Yeah. Which is still bigger than what we had, but. Sure. Whoa. <laughs> Bicyclist. <laughs> so this is that un unprotected turn. I just I want it to creep. Now it's just creeping. Oh, that's nice. There's quite a few cars coming on the right. Yeah, there's a lot. It hasn't moved at all, which is fantastic. Normally it would like go out. It hasn't moved. And these bikers look like they're gonna cross at the bikers. same time. Wow. It worked. And it didn't hit the brakes after. It, yeah. Okay, this is awesome. Yeah. So, so far, yeah, Mark, you've been with me, like, every time I've went on that turn. It's so challenging for the system. This time, I didn't get nervous because it actually stopped at the line and it didn't start to, like, go out super fast, you know? Like, it, it actually stopped at the line and just stopped. It seemed like Which it was awesome was a little bit more aware of what was going on. Like the, a lot of times it kind of seemed like it creeps forward, then it hits the brakes hard, then it creeps forward and hits it again. Yeah. Or once it finishes the turn, it hits the brakes. Yeah, exactly. In this case, it just did the full turn at a regular speed, like a human Yeah, movement. and it, it, now there was bikes right next to us, as you guys saw, there was bikes like literally right next to us. So the car kind of was a little like sketchy during the turn, but it didn't accelerate, brake, and make us feel like it didn't know what it was doing. Like it, it just, worked great. Yeah, the speed regulation was really good. Yeah, it's a lot better. I wonder if those bikes helped us, though. Maybe that kind of gave us the clearance on the right side. They knew, like, we knew the bikes are blocking the right, therefore it's clear. But it waited for every car. Yeah, that's true. Like, I've never even seen that before, where it actually literally waited for every car coming by. Normally, it would, like, creep out really then, suddenly, <laughs> like you're not sure if it was going to stop or not. Mm -hmm. This time, it actually just stayed stopped. And it was just waiting for all the cars, and literally it was clear, and then it proceeded just fine. Yeah, the timing seemed really good. Yeah, so far that was really good. So we're going to basically do the whole loop that I normally do, and then we're going to go downtown, and there's a whole bunch of stuff happening in downtown today, because National Guard's been deployed, and because it's inauguration week. So we'll see what it looks like downtown. Still got that USB malfunction warning. I think it might be my charging pad, though. Maybe may need to get another one. I couldn't tell if the speed, because we had that issue in the past where it was doing like 40, I think, on this road. So it was 40 when we first turned onto the street. I think it was because we turned into the road. It didn't know, it maybe didn't know what the speed was. I think the map data is still wrong okay. for the hard-coded speed. I like that it gave us a lot more distance on that curve there. Did you notice that it wasn't so, see how it's, see how it pushes out. We're driving yeah, we're on, on the line. We're all driving on the line. You can hear the car hitting the speed bumps, the, the little reflectors. Which I would do too, because all these cars are so close to the line. That's fantastic. That's pretty much. So this is where it's always struggled to see this uh, parking lane. The lane lines look right though Great. on the screen. Great. Oh, okay. So instead of trying to attempt this right-hand turn, which it always, <laughs> you remember, it always turned right here. Mm -hmm. 
Now what we're going to do is, I guess this is straight, but it has the left turn signal on. It's a little ambiguous because it is kind of to the left, so. Yeah, so this is a really weird intersection. So you can see on the screen here, it is, there's a left-hand turn here. You can actually turn left onto the street. So I oh. would not have my turn signal on here because that would give the people the impression that we're going to turn onto mm -hmm. this. Look at the objects. They're kind of flashing. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. That's weird. And it's a little bit misleading to have the left on. Yeah, it was misleading. I'm I would not have turned the left turn signal on there, but drove okay. That's interesting that now it's doing a new route. Maybe there it's traffic or is it FSD doing that? FSD's um, doing this for sure. Now, I would have creeped up to look. Oh, for a right on red? Yeah, for right on red, because we can make a right on red here. That's not restricting us. It says to continue, so maybe it's not going to... Oh. <laughs> there we go. Turn green anyways. Okay, turn green. Let's see if it's going to cut over. Oh, it has to get over pretty fast. Yeah, we have to get over. So I would have moved over already because we should have been... Oh, we did it again. So... There was yellow flickering here. Oh yeah, you can. It, that line is still flickering yeah. a little bit. Yeah, it it was showing yellow right here, or maybe it was here. <laughs> See, now this would be really. Uh, There's no cars next to us. It'd be but, uncomfortable if we had a car next to us. Yeah. I would have been more aggressive on that lane change maneuver. I would have immediately got all the way over to the left. Because we only have 200 feet, pretty much. Because now we have a car coming up. It was gonna try to go. <laughs> this person was more aggressive than us, though. Yeah. Come on, car. Come on, car. Yeah, but the paddling is, looks okay, it's just kinda late. Yeah, it was just a little slow. I'm just letting the car go because we're not doing anything in front of cars that are, it's not right. Okay, so it managed it. In a really busy situation, though, that wouldn't have yeah. been able to make it through. Yeah, it, exactly. Like Mark's saying, if, if there was a lot of traffic here, we, we would have just missed the turn and got on the freeway by mistake, more likely. <laughs> But I haven't intervened. Yeah, that was smooth. I'm kind of curious on why we're getting a different route this time. Either maybe FSD beta team said, we can't do this, or it's They're like... like <laughs> why are we sending Brandon all this way? And now look, we're not going over all those roundabouts. Oh, so we need to see some roundabouts. Oh, we're going to go to roundabouts. <laughs> Better believe we're going to roundabouts. This is kind of... Odd. Yeah. Again, it tried to drive towards that parking lane. I'm just going to snapshot that because... We, it was trying to put us towards those cars. We didn't, you know, go into them, but it wasn't right. Oh, it didn't, like, slam on the brakes? Like you're saying, it didn't It didn't hard brake. Yeah, so it seems like it, now it has some new behavior. After the turn is done, it just accelerates. It just which accelerates. Is, that's what we expect. Yeah. So it is doing... It definitely took a different route. Normally it takes us through those roundabouts. Maybe they're like, mm, we don't want to step around through those roundabouts anymore. We don't like them. <laughs> Too bad. We're going to go around a whole bunch of them over here. Are they testing some new navigation data, maybe? Here, it's always turned into this. Just look at the yeah, wheel. it does look really... Oh, it readjusted. Oh, it adjusted. Good. Oh, that's what I really like. I've seen that in some videos. I really it, like how it makes new decisions once it starts the turn. Yeah, it did. It corrected itself. And humans great. Will do that, too. That's great. And those are really high. Yeah, they are. <laughs> That was a weird stop. It wasn't a stop. <laughs> I don't even think we stopped. I think we were still going. Okay, we so... We slowed down a little. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we got to our spot. We came a different route. The car actually would take us down this street. Oh. And it brought us a completely different direction. Interesting. Yeah, wasn't it? Okay, so let's go to... I think it's Babe's Ice Cream. That's the place that takes us through all these roundabouts. And I'm going to, I'm curious if it's going to take us down the roundabout. <laughs> oh yeah, city. we got a couple. Yeah, we, we have a couple here. Then we're going to go downtown and check out that construction and all the... The usual mayhem. Yeah, the mayhem downtown. <laughs> I think there's National Guard deployed right now, so that's going to be really interesting to see. Oh my gosh. It was fine. Yeah, it's a little... 
close. It looked close. And this. <laughs> So interesting, it was gonna try to overtake this car because they just pulled away from the curb and they were going really, really slow. And they were showing us light blue. I don't know what that means. Um, light blue, I think means that it was gonna overtake. Oh. Like they're going too slow and the car was gonna overtake them. Hmm. Because, I mean, that's what we would have done if we saw the car. It's a little that jerky. weird. If we saw a car doing that, that was just barely moving, we would just go around them too, but I, the car was starting to roll, so I wouldn't have attempted an overtake, you know? So it pulled out, and now it's looking in the middle of the road. <laughs> it was okay, though. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I would probably do that as well if it was so blind. It was really blind, so it didn't feel jerky, though. It was a lot smoother. Yeah, once it actually started accelerating, it just continued. And you notice it's not doing that weaving thing. Remember the weaving thing that the car was doing a lot? Good. These, these Detect all the are... pedestrians. Perfect. That was so normal. Do you remember before, like, it would accelerate pretty hard at pedestrians? <laughs> it didn't do it. Okay, stop, please. please we stop. have a crosser. Yep, so she's showing on the screen. My foot is right over that brake pedal. Then we have pedestrians across, so I'm going to be curious how it's going to handle this. Okay, so they, they were still kind of, like, in the on the curb area, so... That, that was appropriate, I think. And I'm happy with that crossing, too, because it was kind of blind. It was so blind. The, whether the car saw it or not, I don't, I can't, like, I don't know, but it did take it mm -hmm. off with some speed. Yeah. So it, it would not have had any issue had there been a car coming, too. So I'm clear to the left. It's going definitely really slow, like it's not sure. We cleared it. Yeah, we cleared the... I mean, you can... St oh. Ooh, what is Going it doing that for? It was like driving towards that car. Um, this is a little jerky on the turning. Yeah. But I haven't intervened once. Okay, there's a car approaching. But we still have time. Yeah, we're entering it, so we yeah, have now, access to it. So now I'm intervening because there's a car right here on the left-hand side of that roundabout. And it was hesitating, so... I had to intervene on that. First intervention. But not bad. Yeah, most of the driving looked really smooth. Down that last road, it was a little bit like moving yeah. the wheel a touch. Yeah, like it wasn't sure. Just wasn't consistent and straightforward. And I don't even think I want to attempt it on this street right now because it's never... It's always just pulled out in front of the cars here. This is a one-way. It's a one-way. And it's always so busy. See the the bikes and it's kind of blind too it's really blind here oh maybe use that other car as a cue i'm going oh okay that was me <laughs> i was gonna say that was no, a good job that was all me whoa what are we oh. doing okay that's Why happened a couple of times now yeah it's jetting to the left a little weird Okay, I would have been impressed if it crossed on its own. Because <laughs> maybe they used the cues from the other way, but that was you manually driving. <laughs> that was me manually driving. I kind of started creeping up and I was looking. Which this is what the car should do. Yeah, that's what it should have done. It's just been a little bit rough there. I, I may at attempt it. Oh, there's a lot going on well, here. This guy's Scooters, dogs. Probably a human would have stopped there because well, he was coming in hot. He yeah, he was coming fast, but he did stop literally at the edge of that curb there, so maybe the car knows, and it oh. just stopped because of it. It would have been able to see the speed, I would think. Yeah, I mean, it saw it. I saw it on the screen. This is just challenging, you know? It's midtown. There's a lot of stuff going on. Okay, I'm intervening there, because I don't know if you can see it from the upper camera, but it was pulling out. <laughs> it was hard to tell from my angle, but... There's a really big parking lane here, so I don't know if it was in the lane or if it was just touching it, but it was pretty far out. Oh, it was? I. It's hard to tell. Because I I think in the only video I've seen so far is James's video, it did a really good creep. He said it wasn't in the lane, but it was kind of far forward. Mm -hmm. So maybe, maybe it's getting better at getting an angle, or I don't know, I just might be making that up. But. We don't know because, you know, Tesla doesn't say what they're changing in the updates. That's that's kind of why we all do these testing patterns that we have so we can see what the differences are because we don't really know. I mean, the only thing we get is 
on the email, FSD bug fixes and improvements. That's all it said in the email. Hmm. It wasn't like, oh, we're adding this or we're changing this, like in the release notes you see on the screen. There's just nothing. But so far, only one true intervention. Seems like it's accelerating smoother to me. Is, how, what do you? Yeah, it, it seems a little bit more natural. Like <clears throat> you yeah. can't really tell that it's a robot driving right now. Yeah, I mean it's like someone's a little hard on the pedals. Like that brake, I would have, I would have been decelerating prior to the train tracks there uh, to be more natural. I wonder if I just wanted to get over in case there was a train. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I just don't think the car knows about that kind of stuff. It doesn't see how it like. Yeah, this was a that was a, that was aggressive. Wow, things are reopening. Look at all the people downtown. Yeah, now it's breaking a lot more. Yeah, there's a lot going on. See, look at all the objects. Oh yeah, jeez, all those. There's people. a lot. Of, I mean, this is all people because, you know, we've they changed the tier of Sacramento County now, so we're now in a lower tier for COVID, and oh. you can see how active it is in town now. Like, people are definitely wanting to get out because of, um, every, you know, everyone's been locked up for so long. I want to eat there. That looks good. <laughs> we have a lot of great restaurants in Sacramento. It's a great town. I didn't even see which one that was. A wine and beer place. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, now this is a little weird. So, yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Like, we're super far back. And there's someone behind us. And there's, yeah. They're probably like, what is this car doing? Yeah, so things are reopening. Um, all restaurants are outdoor seating now. But that's how it was before this last year, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So we're reverting back to the, the previous tier, which allows outdoor dining. We have an old Tesla on the right, the green one. Yeah, that's an, that's an old one too, because that's... Is that even the normal color? I don't think you can get that anymore, but I think it was at one point. Yeah, so that's definitely an older Model S. So this car, look at this car, it was creeping <laughs> over the line, and the our car was responding to it. It was slowing down. Yeah, I was kind of curious why the car was a little tentative. It's because that car was coming towards yeah, us. Yeah, that's what it was. That was really neat. So this black um, Honda Accord next to us was really creeping over the line, and this car was like not accelerating it was just kind of like taking its time so here's the state capitol up on the left here looks like we have some political stuff oh yeah these guys <laughs> yeah trump is the goon what is say? trump the kingdom of the goons i don't know what he said but um they're very anti-trump they're active i guess yeah and they're twins the, oh. those guys i don't even know their names if someone knows their names you can you know, put it on the video, but these guys, I ever since I lived in Sacramento, you know, almost 20 years now, they stand out on that corner every single day, and they've done it for my every the, my entire life of living here. They they hold up signs. Um, they're oh yeah, look at all the guards. Oh, yeah. like machine guns. Wow. This is all holy fenced up. cow. Look at this. Yeah, we've never had it fenced in previous videos. I don't think. Oh my gosh, it's there's cops everywhere. They're all in full riot gear. Okay, well, it seems like it's well protected. Whoa, look at this. Wow, everything's closed. Oh, we're gonna definitely have to go back down that street. I wanna see it. <laughs> and it looks like up ahead, there's a, the right lane's gonna, there's some right arrows. Mm, emerge. So? I wanna see how it handles everything. Wow, everything is blocked off down here. Anyway, those two guys, they're twins. They've been, they pretty much stand out on the corner every single weekend. I've seen, seen hold signs up and they're very much anti-Trump. <laughs> That's pretty funny. A little bit of construction. Oh, yeah, it's close. It was fine though. Seems to be doing okay on the street. Yeah, I, oh, it's kind of padding to the left now. That's okay. We need to turn left up here, so... And this is a lot earlier than it normally tries that. Exactly. He remembers. Like, it, it's always changing lanes. 
like way up here and I was think I always think look at all the cops hmm. oh my gosh like it's a staging area for cops everywhere like they're ready for something to happen wow I kind of want to take a diversion and go up in straight over here because that way we can see all the National Guard I'm okay either way yeah Looks like we're going to be driving into the sunlight. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that'll have any issues. Let's see. It's always struggled here on this turn. A little wide, wide, but that's okay to do that. Yeah, it's wide. Because we didn't cut into the other person. Right. So that was yeah, it perfect. didn't. Yeah, it didn't cross over. Okay, so I'm going to just cancel it here because what's happening is our nav point is set to the right up here. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take us out to the right. It's really bright. Those people are merging, so that's fine. Mm hmm. And yeah, now I'm driving. Okay. Now we got the nav point set. Oh, I saw a little flicker of yellow. Did it? I can see some. Oh, yeah. It's definitely struggling for some reason. I think it's because it, the assumption is. It's yellow everywhere. I just don't want it to go to the right. Yeah, these lines are kind of weird too up ahead. It was trying to... I'm really... Yeah, that was... Yeah. That was a little... So what was happening here is the... Like, you guys can see. We're driving in the middle of these the marks here. They've redone this road so many times. This is actually where the lane is, where we're driving. And yeah, this screen looks correct here. It looks correct now, but it's getting confused. And I I, I really don't want to fault the car in this because th this this is just a hot mess. And I mean, the old view actually was looking okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The traffic wear cruise control view. Mm-hmm. Maybe there's just so many more variables with FSD beta. That... Yeah, that view. This yeah. view. So this is the turn that it's not had a good time with, <laughs> you remember? It usually goes too wide. Too wide, uh, and we've been honked at a lot here. Oh, it, um, it's a little tight. Oh my gosh. So instead of trying to go to the right, it was trying to take us into a curb. <laughs> a little uh, too early of a turn. Yeah. And it, it didn't look like it was adjusting in time. No, it wasn't adjusting, that's why took over there. Because some of these other turns, it does start a little early, which is fine, and then it fixes itself, but this was kind of accelerating. Yeah. That was weird. But it didn't go wide, so no. that's a change. I don't know if it's better or worse, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I kind of want to go down... Maybe, let's... I think I'm going to disengage FSD here, and I think I want to go down to... The cop right in there. street. Oh, hello. <laughs> go down to in street and then go by the state capitol building because that way we can actually test the performance and then see what's going going on down here. Should we route to somewhere else or just it'll take us there? No, it should take us. So in street's a one way. Okay. Um, which is what I was hoping to see going through Sacramento. This is what we've always said too. Hopefully there's not a cop near us. Yeah, so I'm not in... I, I don't have FSD enabled right now. So now FSD is enabled. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of cops down here, so this is a good test. If we get ticketed, that means FSD <laughs> failed. If we don't get ticketed, that means FSD is improving. <laughs> okay, we took off faster than that police officer. I know, which I wouldn't <laughs> normally do. I normally would be a lot more chill. So clearly the car is not aware of... Um, Police cars. <laughs> or it's trying to race them. Yeah. No, it got up to this, you know, it's this, we're going the speed limit. I'm not that worried about it. This is pretty natural so far. Yeah, it's natural. It's not like jerking around the road or. No, it is. No, it's like <laughs> hesitating. Yeah. No ticket. 
Is <laughs> the cop following us? <laughs> no. Okay. But I definitely intervened on that because it was not natural. It was a little... Well, it kind of started the right and then it switched back left and started going straight. Yeah. It, maybe because it, the, it's not very clearly marked over there. Like, the, see how it looks kind of... Oh. All the, the lines are faded. <laughs> but, you know, all improvement. There's a parking lane on the right here. Looks like it detects that as a separate line, which is good. Yeah. Yeah, the car's keeping a lot more left. I can see garbage in the road. Yeah, the garbage is like this pink looking thing. This is a military vehicle. Oh yeah, look at all the National Guard, you guys. Oh, we're going Oh, don't hit him, please. It. That was bright red. Okay, yeah, <laughs> we, we were close, you guys. Like Mark pointed out, the ultrasonics were bright red. Look at all the National Guard everywhere. I would probably disengage here. I'm just gonna move to the middle here. <laughs> that was too close. Look at all the With National the... Guard, there's police. Wow, that's like... Wow, this oh. is like Disneyland, but it's all police and Military. National Guard. <laughs> oh. Wow, look at the riot police. Holy cow, there's police everywhere. Well, they definitely seem prepared. Yeah, these, these, these aren't standard police, you guys. They have machine guns or some kind of auto, like, guns everywhere. The National Guard just waved at us. Thanks, guys, for <laughs> protecting us. Yeah, so we're driving by the state capitol now. The FSD initiated that lane change, by the way. I didn't, I didn't do that. So you did a manual one earlier. And now I did a manual one. That? Yeah, I did a manual one to get the center lane. I didn't want to drive so close to those those <laughs> army Humvees things. Yeah, they were definitely in the road. Yeah, they're definitely in the road. So this is another state building. It's a little harsh of a turn here. Yeah, so we have this, like, parking curb thing. Oh, it's detecting it okay, though. See it? Oh, yeah, you can see it's coming out. Yeah, it's jutting out, so it should... Should go around. And we have a turn line. We do. And the, it's detecting the pedestrian. You can see the National Guard. Oh, people. look at the dog. <laughs> see, the box is like wide <laughs> where the dog was. <laughs> Creeping forward. And I said it says that too. Yeah, and it says it now, which is perfect. There's a lot of tire marks on this. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That was that really was gonna, close. Yeah. I think it was going to hit. There's a lot of tire marks. Yeah. That angle of sharpness, yeah. I think, is just hard. Yeah, I, don't, I think that would have been pretty for us. And then right in front of all those military guys with the... <laughs> the oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. That was good. We gave, okay. them, gave them room. So nerve-wracking. Does it look pink to you? A little bit, yeah. The screen just turned pink. Weird. You see the color, right? Yeah. It's pink. Hmm, that's odd. Yeah, I think, I don't know if it was Beta 9 or Beta 8, a lot of people were saying that it seems like the car makes the right decisions, but it does them a little bit later than a human would, which it, I don't know if that's a limitation of the computer or just its decision making is later. So like, someone backing out like that, you would normally, okay, slow down a little yeah, earlier. Yeah, slow down earlier. This was like right when you basically had to, is when it did it. But you know, it did it perfectly. Safely. Yeah, yeah it, it did, did it perfectly. Safely. So like, it didn't, it didn't, like, not slow down. It just did it at a, a weird time. It's another shark. <laughs> there, like, there was a car next to us, and the car was, like, you know, kind of, like, swerving to the, you know, like, exactly. like this. <laughs> Where should we go now? I kind of want to go get ice cream. Do you want ice cream? Sure. Yeah, let's go there. Yeah, these are weird roads, too. Old... Railroad looks like. Mm -hmm. This used to be, I think this was the actual mill in town. I don't remember. Okay, so I'm not in FSD right now, so we're manually driving. And then we'll turn it back on. That was really neat seeing all the National Guard deployed. Yeah, they looked like they were pretty calm. Yeah, I mean, those they waved at us. At least they waved and they didn't, sh you know... <laughs> Point a gun. Point the guns at us. <laughs> they seem like they're in good spirits. Yeah. Which is good. Oh, it's trying to go around these slow cars. Cool. That's awesome. 
And I mean, it is detecting some of these people sitting down outside, which I guess you'd want to, yeah, because it's... you never know if they were going to jump out at you. Sure. You have to know who's right on the border of the road. It's neat because the car's rendering all that stuff. You know, you can see it rendering. There's a lot going on downtown now because, you know, the lockdown's been lifted. When did that change? Well, this last week. So we, we, we've been on strict lockdown for three weeks, I believe. It was three full weeks. You couldn't, it was full stay-at-home order. You're not allowed to go out except for essential services. Now things are reopened for outdoor dining, you know, you can get massages now, haircuts, all that stuff that we've been missing for so long. So now you can do it again. And you can start seeing there's a lot more activity going on. Oh, look at new charging stations. Oh, those are the Electrify Americas, aren't they? They I don't know. They're really neat looking. They have Chenmo. Hmm. DC Combo. Oh, it reacted to that turn, turn signal. signal. Wow. It wasn't visualized, but it did hit the brake. Yeah. it di Yeah, exactly. It didn't show a visualization about it, but it definitely reacted to the... Oh, it was his hazards. Hmm. Interesting. So it's almost like a cone, maybe? Maybe. I didn't notice anything on the screen, though. I didn't see anything. It just showed a parked car. But it's going... It's trying to be pretty good. I'm not sure I would have done that, but I like that it's pushing. Do you see how it's pushing? So f it's pushing over quite a bit, which is what I would do too. Mm hmm. This is uh, not that natural of a turn. Yeah, I wouldn't have braked like that. So, what it's trying to do is it's trying to get away from these, these people on the fat bikes, fat tire bikes. Oh. It was accelerating pretty rapidly at that pedestrian. So probably a person would have seen the pedestrian in the, like a little bit further and would have just not accelerated as much. Right. Yeah, exactly. We would have reacted a lot sooner. The, the car accelerated pretty hard. Well, it's like it was getting up to speed and then it saw the pedestrian and then it slowed down versus like doing that all in one motion. Maybe what they need to do is just cha adjust the, the distances of when it was reacting because you can yeah. tell it's reacting just fine. It's just, I think the program distances are shorter, possibly. Yeah, that's what Maybe it that's what like. it is. Maybe the distance was programmed shorter. Like, okay, the distance to react to pedestrians is 100 feet or something like that, or 250 feet. I don't know. But it, there's definitely a programmed tolerance in there, whatever it is. Because as soon as we got up to it, it was breaking. And But the car knew it was there. You could see the box, like, well ahead of time. And we've seen that before, too, with, like, stop signs, where it accelerates to the stop sign. Mm hmm So maybe it's something similar. Like, maybe the acceleration is, has precedence earlier. Yeah. And then it switches, okay, now stop sign has precedence. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> just, yeah, we don't just know. Doesn't seem that natural. We're just speculating. <laughs> yeah, they can just, they can definitely use some fine-tuning for that. Well, we know that they can visualize it, so they definitely yeah. see it. It's they're just reacting differently. Right. The car definitely saw that guy in the crosswalk well ahead of time. You can see it on the screen. But the reaction to it was not what we would have done. But it means driving pretty good. Yeah. Now... I kind of want to move over to the left here. Okay, so I'm going to take over here because we actually need to park coming up. And the car does not self-park with <laughs> not FSD. Yet. Not yet. It doesn't find parking spots for you and parks on the road for you. Not yet. So let's park right up here. Oh, there's quite a few people there. Mm hmm. Yeah, things are reopening again. So, you know, there's a lot of things open now. It wanted to park you? Mm hmm. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it wanted to park me, and I was like, nah, I'll park. 